Ultimate success was was a uh, a limousine, four beautiful women, and the cameras outside. You know, my reality was that I couldn't stop drinking or drugging, and I couldn't hold a job. George Feaster has had some of that success. You might recognize him from shows like Tommy and Blue Bloods right here on CBS 6. But it's that reality that was hidden for many years. It's the compelling moment for me when you realize that everything you've ever wanted in your life is unobtainable. That, that moment of hopelessness that I, I finally realized I have to try something else. For George, that moment came in 2017 after years of hospitalizations, rehab, and detox. Now, almost four years later, he's a certified recovery peer advocate in Delaware County. And I learned uh, that uh, to be an effective SERPA, it has nothing to do with your recovery. It has everything to do with the person you're trying to help. That doesn't mean his acting chops haven't been helpful. He recalls once working with a 16-year-old boy and struggling to make a connection. You play video games? He goes, yeah. I said, did you ever play Grand Theft Auto 4? And he goes, yeah. So I said, I'm going to get you, Nico. And he looked at me because I was a character on Grand Theft Auto 4. And we connected right away. And he started talking about his drug use. He says each advocate brings something unique to the table. The one thing that might help save someone else. There are a, a bunch of surface who have their own their own gifts, you know, their own their own tasks. If they utilize their gifts, they're doing their job. For CBS 6 News, I'm Jack Lamson.